Welcome to the Brothers Workshop. My name's Dave, and today do we have a video for you. If you're used to the channel by now, then you know we do a lot of DIY projects, and we also highlight a lot of our buddies' builds, their passions, some of the artwork that they're doing. Today we're going to be talking about photography. It's a hobby that Sean and I both share, and something we find great passion in. And what actually led us to creating videos for YouTube and showing you guys what we do and what our friends do. Today's video is going to focus on this little Ricoh KR5 camera built in 1978 that I picked up at a flea market in Canton, Texas. We're going to be showing you guys a little trip we took to the first Monday flea market down here in a little town south of Dallas. Went ahead and picked up while we were here two barrel chairs, 10 bucks total, pretty sweet. They need a little work so we're going to be doing a video on that. And a uh, an old SLR camera, five bucks. You know, if anything, the lens with an adapter is worth well worth that. Didn't know it was going to work, but actually buying it specifically for the lens. It's a prime lens, 55 millimeter. I thought it would be a great option to replace the Canon lens that you're seeing me film on right now. The camera I film with is a Rebel T6i and does a great job, but it's a kit lens and the focal lengths don't give that great distortion in the background and really focus on the subject. So the idea was to mess around to really learn how to do some of that kind of filming. Before I went ahead and ordered an adapter for this to use on the Canon, I wanted to see if the camera body and the lens was any good. A few weeks ago, I was able to get the, the body working. I had replaced the batteries in the bottom took two watch size batteries and there was a jam in the internal workings. So after having fixed this jam, I went to a local camera shop and picked up some 35 millimeter film to test this thing out. I used all that 35 millimeter film. It was a 24 exposure, so this is where the fun comes in. I dropped off that canister of film last week, and today it just came back in. And we're gonna see how it turns out. So I don't know how well this camera works. I bought it initially for $5. I replaced the batteries for another $5, and the film was another $5. So I was all in at $15 when I went to go take pictures and explore and to do some really cool photography. With that initial investment of $15 in this camera, you can't beat it. These things retail for roughly $50 to $100 on eBay or any of the other auction sites. To get the film developed, the 35 millimeter film developed with a CD, so you get those digital copies, at Walgreens was 16 bucks with tax. And all in, I'm at like $31. The whole time, the goal was to see if the lens would work or the camera body, and what kind of images we get out of it. That being said, here they are. I haven't opened them, and you'll be the first to see it. And there you have it. We got some decent photos, we got some distorted photos, and we got a few that are way too dark. And I think that there is still a learning curve with this camera. You can't just point, shoot, 
and look at what you've got like you can with a DSLR. And with these old SLR cameras, it's kind of like a trial and error situation. You just gotta really learn how to use your equipment and use a light. For a $5 camera, some of these turn out pretty good. I mean, we've got some that are way too dark. We've got some that are pretty grainy. But, uh, you know, we got some that, that just turn out awesome. You know, even, even with that little bit of distortion that we might be seeing through the lens, definitely needs a cleaning. Might have to pull that apart and get to it at some point. Maybe there'll be a video for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's definitely awesome getting one of these things back out. Currently, we have 36 exposures loaded into this thing and we'll touch base let you guys know how this one turns out i think we did get some good photos out of this so all in all i'm not disappointed i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it please subscribe hit that thumbs up lets us know that we're doing good work feel free to leave comments in the comment section love to get your feedback if you guys have one of these cameras shoot us some pointers we love that and if you want to see other different types of content, let us know. We definitely are in that comment section interacting with you guys. And at that, we'll see you in the next video.